Cancer is a force to be reckoned with. And when it found a home within my family, we all heeded its message. Life is not guaranteed and family is very important. When we found out my cousin had cancer, none of us knew how bad this journey was going to be. But we lost and found a little bit of ourselves throughout the process. My cousin, Zachary Allen Herrera, we called him Zach. That's him. He was getting ready to start baseball when he was having trouble judging distance, um, walking a straight line, having blurry vision. He would bump into walls sometimes when he would go around a corner. When his mom took him to the doctor, it was more than needing corrective lenses. He was diagnosed with brain stem cancer. The American Brain Tumor Association describes pontine glioma as a central nervous system tumor that begins with normal cells that grow uncontrollably. The brain stem controls many of the body functions like motor skills, you're walking, running, jumping, senses, uh, sm sight, smell, touch, hearing, coordination, heart beating, your breathing. It has three parts, the midbrain, the medulla oblongata, and the pons. The pons rest between the medulla oblongata and the midbrain, and that's generally where pontine glioma grows. Glioma occurs in, commonly in children between five to 10 years, of, years old. Most brain tumor, brainstem tumors develop in the pons and it is difficult and in most cases impossible to surgically remove. According to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, survival rate for pontine glioma is not common past 12 to 14 months. Zach was diagnosed in March of 2002. We lost him 18 months later on September 14, 2003 at the age of nine. He touched so many of us in ways that we will never be able to forget. He inspired us to be strong. Here was this little boy telling us not to worry that God was gonna take care of him. Zach was a joyfully spirited boy and never let his cancer beat him personally. He went through chemo, radiation, and a host of other trial treatments, but he never let on that he was scared or worried unless it was about somebody else. He loved sports and movies like The Hulk and Spider-Man. He loved to laugh and he loved to play jokes. He was the jokester of the family. At times when he was not able to speak or move, he would always let us know how he was feeling. Um, he always held up the international sign for I love you. Um, even when he wasn't able to speak, that he would let us know how he felt. Zach was the glue of our family. He always wanted family together. Growing up, I didn't have much family around. My cousins, my aunts, my uncles. We, we kept in touch through the general you know, re progress report of how we're doing, how the kids are, things like that. The occasional progress report. But Zach, when Zach got sick, we all bonded together as one unit instead of individuals scattered who called themselves family. July 4th was Zach's favorite holiday. He was very much a patriot and we now get together every July 4th, but often at times in between as well. We talk daily. We realize the importance we all had in each other and it took my cousin's journey back to God for us to realize that. We miss home very much, and we're all thankful to him for showing us what family is supposed to be.